According to the National Kidney Foundation, more than 26 million Americans suffer from kidney disease. That's one in every nine people. Yeah, many of those in Northwest Ohio battling the effects of the disease every day. And unfortunately, many succumb to this life-threatening illness. Joe Ricknowski joins us now with the story of a local family living with loss, but working to make a difference. Yeah, Lauren, Sean, Tim Boyle contracted a rare kidney disease when he was very young, and after years of dialysis and two transplants in 2002, Timmy passed away, but thanks to a golf tournament and other fundraisers, Tim's memory will never die. Now that's Tim's dad, Mike Boyle, right there, working with the football team over at Central Catholic this morning. Mike is assistant coach for the Irish. Each day, Mike and his other son, Bill, live with the memory of what Tim meant to the entire family in the Central Catholic community. Tim died at just age 16 in April 2002, and friends and family immediately established a golf tourney in his honor. Uh, he played baseball and, and he ran cross country and even though he couldn't run very fast or far he did you know he, he would finish the meets and he, he got very involved in the arts and uh, loved to act and sing and dance and, and unless he was too sick he was there doing it and we rallied around that and that was uh, that was kind of a that was our rallying point. The great thing about my brother Tim was that he always had a positive outlook on life uh, no matter what he was going through uh, despite the illness, I mean, he always had a great attitude. Uh, you couldn't bring him down. All right, this is the ninth annual Tim Boyle Memorial Golf Tourney. It will raise awareness of kidney disease and money for scholarships and needy families over at Central Catholic. The tournament will be held Sunday, August 8th at Whiteford Valley. It's a two-man scramble format. The cost is $65 per person with lunch at the turn and dinner after golf. We'll have much more on this in the later weeks coming up on the Rignoski Recap as well. We'll follow this as it goes up to tourney time, August 8th. Joe Rignoski, Fox Toledo News.